prepare to be obedient to the authorities of this church in the plan they might be led by the Spirit of God to make for you and to their warnings and their disciplines? Yes, by the grace of God. What we just said is important to you. Which means, if you do anything that is contrary, you can be disciplined. And if you have that discipline, you need to leave a good church. As you move forward. Oh, but move, move. Go to your nilari. Come, I mean, my mind that boy alone. Don't you mind your mind on the hand? I mean, my mind is going move forward. One move, come. So, you just answer now. So that's why I repeated it. So you know what you are saying. Have you accepted that any work God might have done or we do through you in this church and worldwide belongs to God? And it's not what any man can claim as his personal property or achievement. Yes, by the grace of God. Very important what you just said. Though. You are an evangelist is supposed to win souls, bring more people to the church. I need to leave this place, so you have to follow me. They know your property. They're God's property. Uh -huh. It's God who gave them to you, and so they belong to God. Will you stay clear from the desire to amass wealth, which makes some workers make merchandise of the sheep of God and work of God by demanding unworthy gains from them? Taking offerings and other demands which are against the word of God and which speak ill of the ministry and dishonor God. Yes? Yes, by the grace of God. What I'm saying there is very clear. Because we're just, I didn't you today, you may be saying, but the hand of God is going to be upon you from today. Amen. And you can, God can enlarge your vision. And he's going to really enlarge you. Yeah. Every great minister you are hearing today, they begin just like this. And when they are beginning, it's like nobody. And see what they have become. So that's why we are saying ahead of time, when it happens, you're not going to start using the work, the ministry that God has committed you to just cheat people, manipulate people to get wet. Lying to people, cheating them, and using the name of God to rob people. Because that's what many ministers do these days. They will be robbing people and they will say it is the spirit that tell them to do so. So you just said you will not do that. Very important. Without the help of God, this church and you cannot achieve anything. So 